How a person spends his money reflects a lot about his priorities in life. As Jesus said in Luke 12, verse 34, For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. The principle of Luke 12, verse 34 is very simple and clear. That where our treasure is, there our hearts will also be. Let me simplify this. If our treasure is in the world, then our hearts will also be set in the world. And if our hearts are set in the world, then most of the investment we do will be for the world. Likewise, if our treasure is in God, in His church, in His mission, then our hearts will also be set for God's glory. And if our heart is set for God's glory, then most of the investment will be for God's glory. That means we will not only be a good steward of it, but we will also be faithful and be generous in giving tithes, in giving offering, and in giving charity. Because where our treasure is, there our hearts will also be. And wherever and where we put our heart, there we will also do the investment more. Friends, we are just a traveler traveling in a temporary and time-bound world created by our God. And in this journey, it is very important to live a life fully blessing Him because that is what God expects from us. And money is something which can be used to honor our living God. Friends, I would like us to sincerely consider the area in which you are spending most of your money today because that reflects who you are and that reflects where your treasure is. And as a Christian, God wants you to be a good steward of your money because everything you have is from God. The paycheck you receive every month, the amount of money you receive from your business or from anywhere, it is a gift from God. And God wants you to use the given gifts according to His wish, according to His will. And one way we can live according to that is by being a good steward of it. And we can achieve that only when we put our treasure in God. Let us make God as our treasure. Let us put God first and be a good steward of God's given resources.